Thank you for tuning in to HR Revival Ministries. It's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR. It's always the hour for revival. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm excited about today. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to wait for a few people to tune back in to the second service. Thank you, Jesus. The first one was so jumbled together. It, 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 it was not just jumbled. It was... Uh, the video was shaky, you know, so I'm doing this second video and believing that everybody will tune back in in Jesus' name. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Patrick, good morning. God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm so excited that you could tune in. Thank you, Jesus. Father, hide me behind the cross. It's been none of me, but all of you. Speak of this up to clay, and everybody leave here singing. I got just what I wanted and more from the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. I am excited about this word today. If you got your Bibles, turn with me to the book of... Galatians chapter 1, Galatians chapter 1. Sister Rhonda, God bless you. I'm glad you could tune in today. Thank you, Jesus. Galatians chapter 1, verses 6 through 12. Galatians chapter 1, verses 6 through 12. And I'm going to entitle this message today, Is it the message or is it a mess? Is it the message or is it a mess? Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Turn with me Galatians 1, chapter 6 through 12. Thank you, Jesus. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ under another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> but though we or an angel from heaven preach another gospel unto you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. For do, as we said before, so I say now again, if any man preach another gospel unto you, then that you have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek the please to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man, for I neither received it of man, neither there was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. There are so many people, the reason he said, if an angel comes to you and preaches something contrary to the word that's already been given, or if we alter the message that we've given you and try to change it to please you, it's not the truth. Bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Why? Because the gospel has a way of offending people. A lot of people get offended because of the good news. So he's saying, don't get discouraged when people get offended with you because you're saying the truth. Don't worry about it. Keep on going. Don't stop and don't alter the message just for them. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I feel my help coming on me. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Amen. But he said, if an angel preaches to you something contrary to the word, 
it's not of God because his word will never contradict itself. That's what happened to Muhammad on the mountain. Muhammad was supposed to have received a vision of Gabriel. And this Gabriel told him a blasphemous lie. That Gabriel, the demon that identified himself as Gabriel, told him that Christ was not God's son. But yet, the Gabriel of our Bible says that he was God in flesh. He said, mm, help me, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. This Gabriel of our Bible says that he was God. So if that Gabriel said something totally opposite of what this Gabriel said, I know that Gabriel is a liar. The one from Mohammed. Because I'm going to explain something to you. If it don't match up with God's word, it's not from God. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But an angel preached a false message to Muhammad. Actually, if you do research, if you go back and do a lot of research, Muhammad one time believed the truth. But this false angel came to him and preached a lie, and he believed the lie and was damned for it. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. God's got grace for people, but I, I need you to understand something. Don't walk away from what you know is from God. Don't let it alter just because it don't seem like anybody else wants to hear it. Don't alter from the word of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. That's what takes the message and turns it into a mess. People trying to alter the word of God to look popular. They trying to, mm, they trying to differate. They try to change it. It's the Lord gave me a great title for that. It's called cult, cultured Christianity, where they literally try to change the word of God, and they try to tell you, now don't go read your Bible now, that, that this is what I'm telling you is in the Bible, so you just got to believe me. It ain't in your Bible, but yet they don't want you to know that, because the revelation that they received was not from God, but from a spirit that did not come from God. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Whew, I hope y'all enjoying in this message. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. I hope people will share this message. Thank you, Jesus. But he said, though we are an angel, we are an angel. Preach to you another gospel, which is no gospel at all, other than which you have been saved by. May they be accursed. We got to understand something, friends. It's time we begin to weigh what we are hearing in the balance. There are, there's a message, and then there's a message that turns into a mess. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Why? Because many don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. 1 Timothy 4.3 He said that in the last days people would not listen to sound doctrine but would give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils and demons. I did a message on that a while back called Dr. Devil, Mr. Hyde. That was about two years ago. <laughs> Dr. Devil, Mr. Hyde. They got a form of godliness, but they deny the power. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. And it's what I call cult-cultured Christianity. 
They teach you things that's not in the Bible. They don't want you to go and look it up for yourself. They want to tell you what the Bible says, and then you're just supposed to believe them. That's a cult. When they're trying to control your mind, trying to control your faith, that's a cult, friends. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. we got to begin to weigh in the balance what we're hearing. Because he said in the Bible that in the last days they would bring unto themselves people who have itching ears. They'd heap unto themselves ministers who do not have the truth in them. They have itching ears and they want their ears scratched. They want to hear it's all right to live any way you want and go to heaven. Oh, it's all right to jump from bed to bed and bed to bed to bed to bed with everybody or anything. That's what they want to hear. It's not, though. They want to hear you can commit suicide and go to heaven. They want to hear, oh, it's all right to fall in love with somebody. You can't help who you fall in love with. And I'm talking about other than the true way of falling in love. They, they preach a false form of love. Those who back in the pulpit homosexuality need to reevaluate their life because the Bible says it's a reprobate mind. Romans 129. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Are you getting blessed this morning? Thank you, Jesus. We got to weigh it in the balance, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Because the Bible says that they had itching ears. Friends, you and I need to have spiritual calamine lotion to put upon their soul. There is a balm in Gilead. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. This is the message we have heard of him, that in him there is no darkness at all. This is the true message that we've heard of him. God is light and in him, that's it, there is no darkness at all. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Sister Regina, God bless you. Hallelujah. He said, this is the message that we've heard of him. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. You know, I tell you what. I'm going to begin to expose really quick, just for a few minutes, some false religions out there that have a form of godliness. They look good but they deny the true power of God. I'm going to begin to deal with them in a moment. Hey, Sister Michelle, God bless you. Hallelujah. Bless God. One of them is Jehovah's Witnesses. And we'll deal with the Masonic Order in just a moment. One of the satanic organizations that look real, they look like they're God, Jehovah's Witnesses. This is what they teach. They teach, you ready for this? They teach that Jesus and Michael are the same. But Jesus was made a little lower than the angels, according to Hebrews chapter 1. So we know that's not right. We know that's false doctrine. For them to preach that Jesus was an angel. Amen? Thank you, Holy Ghost. But also... Oh, tell Sister Debbie good morning. I love her. Praise the Lord. Her spiritual daddy loves her. Hallelujah. But also, they teach that only 144,000 are going to make it in. Problem is, they believe they won't be saved. What kind of faith do you get saved under that you don't believe you're going to be saved? It's ridiculous. Here this is. They believe that there's only 144,000 that's going to heaven. I'm going to show you something real quick. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, I, John, saw a number that no man could, right out of the 144,000, I saw a number that no man could number coming in from the great tribulation. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to do a message very soon 
on the tribulation hour. You don't want to miss that. Bless your Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. First Timothy 4, 3. They have itching ears in this day and time. They want to hear live any way you want and go to heaven. They want to live, jump from bed to bed with anybody or anything. That's what they want to hear, but it ain't the truth, friends. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Another thing that the Jehovah's Witnesses teach, they teach that Jesus was a man, but they, they deny his deity. How can you say he wasn't God when Jesus said, as Abraham was, I am? You begin to quote these scriptures, they'll run like heck right out the door because they know in their spirit with their preaching false doctrine. You begin to show in the book of Revelation, I saw a number past the 144,000. I saw a number coming in from the great tribulation that no man could number that had been redeemed by the blood. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Then you show them this, where Jesus said, as Abraham was, I am. As Abraham was, I am. He said, Abraham longed to see my coming and did and was glad. Whoa, as Abraham was, I am. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. He was declaring he was their God. He was their Messiah. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. He was declaring who they are. Looking at. Who they are looking at is him. They're looking at God. They was talking to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. They don't let people read their Bibles. This is why I call them a cult. They won't let people read their Bibles. They want to read the Book of Mormon. They, they want to read their books that they've written. Wait a minute. If they're telling you not to read the Word of God, then they're not from God. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. See, I'm going to show you another one. The Masonic Order. Okay, I'm going to deal with a lot of these demonic organizations before I go any further in this message. The Masonic Order, the Eastern Star, the Masonic Order and the Eastern Star are just a knockoff of each other. It's the female version of the Eastern Star. <laughs> Eastern Star is a female version of the Masonic Order. I've done a, a message on the Masonic Order. If you want to go back, you, you can write to me and I'll send you that whole message on the Masonic Order. Just write to me. Let me know you want it and I'll send it to you in Messenger the message about the Masonic Order and exposing the secrets of the Satanic Society. Um, let me say this. What they do in the dark has been heard in the light. They say once you get to the 33rd degree, you become a master mason. Wait a minute. There's only one man you're supposed to call master. And that's Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. <clears throat> they try to achieve godhood. That little G in their eye, in the eye, is not the eye of God. It's the eye of Lucifer. There's so much wrong with the satanic, that satanic society, the Masonic Order. I've got a message on it. You can write me for it. I'll send it to you free of charge and messenger. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. But they do these satanic rituals to begin to initiate one another into their organization. I've actually had people write to me from the Masonic Order, threatening my life against this kind of preaching. But I've also had people who were ex-members of that Satanic Order thanking me for bringing this message to the people before. Thank you, Jesus. 
that it was absolutely right what I was telling them. The eastern star, they bow before a star as children. They will have their daughters, the mothers will have their daughters bow before the star. And they give their soul to that star. That star is the star of Baphomet. That star that they use in that society is the star of the goat head Baphomet. So, I mean, I ain't got time to go into all of this with you today, but I'm saying to you, these satanic practices that they are putting into practice are not of God. They look good to them, but they are not of God, friends. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Lucifer is the God of the satanic society, the Masonic Order in the Eastern Star. He is their God. God condemns that little star in the book of Amos, chapter 5. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Get that star, get that garbage out of your house. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Because, you know, when they kiss that Bible and and they say, I swear, you know, to, to keep the secrets of this society, you know, and, and then they're speaking, if I speak it, may death come to me, and they kiss that Bible, they are putting a witchcraft seal upon the Word of God, putting a curse upon their children and grandchildren, even to the third generation. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. If you got family in that society, they need to be delivered. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Ninety-nine percent of them do it blindly. They don't know what they're doing when they do it. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I just felt like God wanted me to preach this message today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. The Bible shows us that we are to try the spirits by the spirits to see if they be of God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. But, thank you, Lord. Talking about the Masonic demonic order. You know, people need to learn what they're getting into before they get into it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. They say at a funeral of a Masonic leader that the mystic ties that have bound them together are now broken. Three-chord strand cannot easily be broken. Wait a minute. Wait one minute. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. But they say mysticism is in their uh, funeral plans. The mystic ties that bind us. The mystic ties, let me explain that to you real quick. The very one who founded the Masonic Order for Washington, D.C. stated that everything that they ever were or ever would be is owed to Kabbalicism. Kabbalicism is Jewish black magic. It's also where the star of David really comes into play because God never ordered David to make a star. That star is the star of Solomon when Solomon fell away from God and fell into satanic worship. I'm getting deep into it. I know. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. I hope y'all still love me. Bless you, Jesus. Another false spirit, the Catholic belief. I mean, now there's truly some Catholics that truly love Jesus with all their heart, but there's other people that don't know what they really have in their path. Okay? And I'm I'm not trying to step on no toes. I'm just trying to tell you what's really going on. I love you enough to tell you the truth. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. When they say that they pray to Mary, when they pray to Mary, they're praying they're putting Mary above Jesus, and that should never be. You should never put Mary above Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Now, 
Not just that. They got all these idols and all these statues of all these other gods. All these other guys, these men of God, these apostles. They got their image. He said, make unto thyself no graven image. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm just trying to help y'all out today. Thank you, Jesus. The only one we should give our life to the only one we should worship and bow down to because they bow down to these statues. The only one we should live for and love for is Jesus Christ. We should only bow down to Jesus. We should only worship Jesus. They bow down in the eastern star to a star. I bow down to the one who hung the stars, the moon and the sky. He hung it all in the heavens. I bow down to Jesus. Jesus into him alone do I bow. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Just like the Hebrew 3, I will not bow to your will. I'll bow to God. Because they said, you're going to bow to this image or we're going to kill you. They said, we will not bow to a statue. Do you know that's what's really going to expose the Antichrist when he comes and all his lying signs and wonders is because the Bible says that they're not to worship any image and a true Jew will not bow down to an image. When he brings this image, their eyes are going to be open and those that get saved are going to run to Petra and hide in the caves. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I know I got a little bit deeper into this message than I did in the last message, but I hope you're still enjoying it. Bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> First John 4, 1 says, My beloved, do not believe every spirit but try the Spirit by the Spirit to see if it be of God. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, for every spirit that says God did not come in the flesh is an antichrist spirit. Every spirit that says Christ did not come in the flesh is of the antichrist. Wait a minute. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. You've got to be careful what you're letting into your hearing because it ain't what goes into the body that defiles the man, but what cometh there out, what defiles the man. Yeah, it says, it ain't what goes in that defiles the spirit and soul of a man, but what cometh there out is what defiles him. You get this garbage into your ears. You get this garbage into your hearing. You know, the uh, going into the light and all this other stuff. This chakra, new age garbage. The Buddhists, the monks, they, they all believe this stuff. There's a way that seems right to a man, Proverbs 14, 12, but in the end leads to his destruction. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. 1 John 4 and 1. we got to try the spirits by the Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Weigh it in the balance. Thank you, Jesus. 1 John 6, 13. Here, here's how you try the Spirit, Sister Michelle. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. John 16, 13. It said, His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, will lead you into all truth. Amen. So you ask the Holy Spirit of God to reveal to you what you're listening to. If it don't bear witness in your spirit and you feel grieved, you feel you feel sick to your stomach when you're hearing something that's bearing witness in your spirit that that thing that you're hearing is not from God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. That you ask the Holy Spirit who will lead you into all truth, John 16, 13. Does this line up with the Word of God? That's how you try the spirits by the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit of truth, you ask Him to show you in the Word where this matches to, to what you're listening to. And if it don't match to what you're listening to, 
in the word of God, if you can't find it in the word, what you're hearing, then it did not come from Holy Spirit. It came from another spirit, another false spirit that claims to be the spirit of the living God. Help me, Holy Ghost. I hope that answers your question, sister. Thank you, Jesus. Ask the Holy Spirit. We should never feel like we cannot ask the Holy Spirit anything. He is our comforter. He is our teacher. He is our counselor. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Somebody just got, tried to call through. I'm glad I had the phone on reject. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible preaches about in the last days those, 2 Peter 2, 1, who would preach damnable doctrines, even denying the Lord that bought them. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Why? Because we're not... Why are there people that lean on their own understanding? Why Why do they... Why is there people that preach their own kind of little message and it don't bring nothing good from God, but it brings nothing but trouble because they're preaching a mess and not a message? First, uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Lean not on to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Let me tell you another thing that is not a God, that they have a form of godliness, but they deny the true power of God. Let me tell you, if anything tells you to look to a man or a woman, other than God. That's a false religion. That's a cult, friends. That's what happened with Jim Jones. They looked to him as God. And they all died for it. They put him so high on a pedestal. And he was the most insane man there was at that time, I believe. Hey, Brother Randy. There was, he was such an insane man. They put him on a pedestal and made him a god. They all died for it. If anybody tells you to look to them instead of Jesus, they're a false people. And they're leaders of hell. They're preaching unto you a damnable doctrine. Even as going as far as to deny the Lord that bought them. Second Peter 2 and 1. Lean not on your own understanding, friend, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Let me tell you why. Because in the last days, the Bible says, 2 Thessalonians 2, 9 through 11, it literally states that because they love not the truth, the Lord turned them over to a reprobate mind. It said that, that's Romans one twenty nine. it is said that in verse, verse 2 Thessalonians 2, 9 through 11, he said, because they loved not the truth, the Lord therefore allowed them to have a strong delusion brought upon them, that they may believe a lie and be damned that believe it. Because they believed not the truth. They did not love the truth. They did not want the truth of God's word. There is a space of grace to repent for getting into false doctrine, for falling in love with that Jezebel spirit. There's a grace to repent and get out of that evil thing. Re Revelation chapter 2. But let me tell you, if you don't repent, what's going to happen? I've got to. If you don't, you'll be thrown into that bed with her and... It'll be a bed of sickness. Do you know what God's word declared, Romans one twenty nine about they would have things brought upon them, sicknesses because of their mindset and because of sexual immorality and homosexuality 
and lesbianism, they're going to be thrown into that bed with Jezebel. What's going to happen? The Bible said it'll be a bed of sickness. Do you know God's word declared that there would be AIDS in this world because a bed of sickness from sexual disease. This was before AIDS was ever mentioned about. There's nothing new under the sun. It's all happened before. God prophesied that because of sexual immorality and because of sexuality going crazy, that the LGBT is not of God. You know, those, those who accept the LGBT into their church, they're wrong for doing that. Those who allow it, you know, and say, well, it's just the time we're living in. We... Let me tell you something. We are not supposed to accept evil. Now, I'm telling you, we can love on them, minister to them, yes. But don't give them positions in your church. Somebody needed to hear this this morning. Help me, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. LLDM. Another false religion. Let me tell you something. We need to put our life in the hands of Jesus. Bless your Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Until there's deliverance, people should not sit in sit in different parts of the church. In involving, they should not be in certain offices of the church. You need to guard your church, friends. Guard your heart, but out of it flows the issues of life. I tell you, I got a little bit deeper in here than when I was originally getting. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. There is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end leadeth to destruction. Let me tell you why. Because in the last days, a strong delusion was going to come upon people, and they were going to believe a lie, and they were going to be damned. Let me say this. Without the true spirit of God in your life, you will be deceived. Second Corinthians, go there with me really quick. Second Corinthians 11 and 4, and I'm closing. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Second Corinthians 11 and verse 4. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit which you have not received, or another gospel which you have not accepted, you might as well bear with him. Let me tell you, we're not supposed to be in a church that agrees with homosexuality. You're not supposed to agree, sit in a church that agrees with live any way you won't go to heaven. Yes, there is grace, but there's also holiness. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. You know, he's saying right here in Second Corinthians chapter 11 and 4, you know, he's saying... There's some people you just cannot convince them what they are in is a sin. It's wrong. But, you know, you, you just got to, you just got to let God handle them. Love them, pray for them, but let God handle them. Because there's a difference between having the message and having a mess. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe you're in one of those organizations that I mentioned earlier. Maybe you're in blatant sin and you know that you're in sin and you know you need to repent before God for what you've been doing. Come to Jesus today and pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe you died on the cross that God the Father raised you from the dead and I am saved. I accept you now, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. And I put all other gods aside. And I accept you as the only living God. I accept you, Holy Spirit, as the only spirit of truth. I renounce all other spirits, 
but I accept the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. If you prayed that prayer with me, write to me. Kid Henry, K I D D H E N O Y, 617 at gmail.com. I want to celebrate with you the message we've heard of him today that in him there is no darkness at all. Thank you, Jesus. That God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I am so excited about today's message. Thank you, Jesus. So, if you prayed that with me, let me know, because I want to send you a certificate of sonship. Even a daughter can be a son, friends. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Write to me, Kid Henry, K-I-D-D-H-E-N-O-Y, 617 at gmail.com, K-I-D-D-H-E-N-O-Y, 617 at gmail.com. I want to write to you and send you that certificate of sonship. I love you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. If you're sick in your body, I curse every devil of sickness. I command it to loose your spirit, loose your mind, loose your body. Let you go free wherever you're sick in. Loose your wallet wherever you're sick in. I mean, there is even financial sickness. Father God, I rebuke every devil of sickness and I declare healing from the body part room in heaven, God. Create a miracle in Jesus' name, Holy Ghost. Lord, I thank you. I come Command every spirit of infirmity to turn them loose in Jesus' name. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. No more sickness, no more disease, no more troubles in Jesus' name. Physically, spiritually, financially, whatever. No more trouble. Healing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Now, if you are bound up in your mind, I curse every devil of bondage. I command it to loose your spirit, loose your mind, loose your body. Let you go free. Every addiction receive an eviction by holy conviction. Right now, I charge every spirit to turn you loose that's bound your mind. In Jesus' name, by the power of the Holy Ghost of God, every addiction turn you loose in Jesus' name. Hey, Sister Brandy, in Jesus' name, right now, totally healed, totally delivered. In Jesus' name, according to Nahum 1, 9, the attack cannot come back a second time. And finally, i got to say this. He who the Son says free is free indeed. The Bible says we overcome the devil by what? By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. We overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Get up and get out and testify. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Now, if you've never been filled with the Holy Ghost and fire, Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and in fire. Lord Jesus, baptize everybody now. Fire, 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 fire. In Jesus' name, fire. Washing the water of the work. As you sit out there, belly will flow. Rivers of living water. Do it, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God on high. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Mm, bless you, Holy Ghost. I hope people enjoyed this message today. I hope it's brought a lot of attention to the gospel. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, for those who desire to give, we now have PayPal. The link will be at the top of the video for those on Facebook, the bottom of the video for those on YouTube. Your love gifts, large or small, keep helping me bring the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory. Hallelujah. And not just 
on the camera, Brother Broad, as well. Thank you, Jesus. I'll be live in Winder, Georgia, preaching on Sunday morning, and I'm bringing a word you do not want to miss, returning to your first love. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I'll be in Winder, Georgia, 11 a.m., Sunday morning, live worship, live preaching. You don't want to miss it. Write to me for the address, and I'll send it to you if you want to come, and I'll I'll see you there in the air in heaven. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you for tuning in to H. R. Revivals. It's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother H. R. It's always the hour for revival. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love you. I'll see you in the next meeting or in the air in heaven. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye. Hey, write to me, Kid Henry, K-I-D-D, H-N-R-Y-617 at gmail.com. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye.